How you doing today guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been a while. This is Alex over here in the MTV Alex garage. And behind me, I got my e-bike, my Mom Bromo N7. It's a polygon e-bike. And I made a quick video a while back about a problem that I found. And it got a, quite a few of views according to what I actually get on my channel. And today I'm going to go ahead and attempt to fix that thing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right. So what I show you on the previous video was this derailleur cage. The inner part got, I don't know why, it broke. So I got the new part that is going to be replacing this. I haven't even taken it off the box. I probably have had this probably for a month, a month already, maybe three weeks. Let's go ahead and open that up and see what we're working with. So this is the cage that I, we're going to be replacing is the inner cage. And I want to actually want to try to do this without taking the wheel off. And I, the only problem that I foresee is the uh, chain tension going on. So I might just need it. I might just need to remove the chain or unlock it and see how that goes. Now, this is the part number and inner plate supposed to be the one for this one. Hopefully I did not make a mistake and I paid like $12 and 95 cents because free shipping. So that was not a bad deal. And I got it from Willem spoke, uh, sprocket online. I just searched it on Google and that's what I came out. So let's go ahead and attempt to change this, hopefully without taking the rear wheel and see how that goes. So like I said, the first thing that I want to do for this one is actually remove the chain. Hopefully we can work with that and get it out of the way from the rear derailleur. And for this, there's two Allen heads and I believe they're going to be like three or four millimeters on the back that we're going to have to take off. Actually, this one might be on the front and yes, it is going to be a three millimeter. And the only reason you want to take off the chain is because otherwise the jockey wheel is with it and it'll actually fall off if you don't take the wheel, the, the chain off. And don't forget about the washers that there's one on each side. The other one didn't get lost. I mean, it's still in there. So, and also the little, it's not a bearing. It's just a piece of tube that goes in it. We're going to put this back on here. And then same thing on the top. I'm just going to go ahead and take the derailleur off. And as you can see, this is what broke on the inside. I'm just going to loosen this up. Of course, at this time, you can do a little bit of cleanup if you need to. Not to worry about that for now. You just want to get this out of the way, get it done. Although the only thing is that these two things look different. So hopefully, it'll work. Because they do look different. And if this doesn't work, then I'm screwed and I'm going to have to get a replacement. As you can see, these two are different. And I should have taken this out before to get the part number, although I do not see it anyway. I don't know. If it keeps the chain in there, that's, what I, that's all I care about. But if it doesn't, then that's what the problem is going to come. I'm going to put it on for now and see if I can make it work. And yes, all my bikes need a little bit of maintenance. And I have a few videos coming up for that that I haven't recorded, but they will be on the make making. Because we're going to have to do just a little bit of adjustment over here. Although the cage is different, it seemed to work. It's not rubbing or anything like that. So I'm going to leave it like that. And if it adjusts and it doesn't rub on anything, I will make changes whenever I need to. For now, if it works, that's all I care for now. Well, there you have it. Pretty, pretty quick and easy fix. I just wish that I had ordered the correct part because it is this one is way wider. This one seems to be aluminum. That one seems to be steel. It is an SGS 12 speed. I wonder what I did wrong when I order it, but it's working for now. I will look for this one and order the correct one. 
But other than that, this thing is working. I can take it out to the trail. I haven't been riding in a while, so getting in back into shape. I think this is gonna be a good thing to do right now. Plus, especially I get the kids and the, the, my girl likes to be pulled on the little trailer. So I wanna have this bike ready and the other ones is they just need uh, general maintenance like adjustment and uh, fix those uh, flat tires. But other than that, uh, we're gonna be seeing a little bit more of me. Hopefully you guys like this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I guess that's it for this one. And I'll see you on the trails. Let's ride.